Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Skin in the Game, a creation by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Skin in the Game, 2018, uncovers how our interactions with others are subconsciously shaped by risk and balance. Taleb uses probability concepts to shed light on everyday situations, offering fresh and insightful perspectives on the inner workings of society. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Nassim Nicholas Taleb is a scholar, statistician and former investment banker, best known for his best-selling 2007 book, The Black Swan. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, learn a fairer approach to analyze risk. Factors influencing human interactions include symmetry or balance of knowledge and manipulation, as well as the element of risk. Understanding who knows more and the stakes involved help determine the dynamics of a situation. These questions dictate the level of involvement or risk a person has in the interaction, affecting the desired outcome. The text will delve into how these factors impact various scenarios, including the dynamics of minorities versus majorities, societal views on wealth, and employee loyalty to companies. Key idea number one, a symmetry of information between buyer and seller is considered morally wrong. The ancient Roman myth of fishermen serving ineedable turtles to the god. Mercury teaches a lesson about deceit in sales pitches. It warns against disguising sales tactics as well-intentioned advice, a practice still observed in modern commerce. The story serves as a cautionary tale about the ethics of concealing important information when making a sales pitch. This behavior, legal in some countries, is viewed differently in religious legal systems like Sharia law, where asymmetric information in transactions is scrutinized for fairness and ethical conduct. Key idea number two. Minority groups often have a significant influence on the majority. Individual behavior of ant colonies cannot explain the behavior of the whole colony. Similarly, understanding human societies requires looking at interactions between individuals. Minority rule is illustrated through the example of how a small, unyielding minority can influence the preferences and behavior of a larger population. In consumer behavior, the minority's inflexibility often has a larger impact on the majority's choices. Companies should consider the concept of minority rule when attempting to change consumer behavior, as seen in examples of halal meat consumption and genetically modified food preferences. Key idea number three, companies train employees to comply with restrictions on their autonomy. In the fifth century, Gyrovagues were monks who wandered Europe outside monastic norms, displeasing the church. The church's efforts to regulate all monks mirror mode and companies controlling employees to ensure dependability. Employees may feel conditioned to obedience, tying their personal identity to the company and risking losing much if they leave. This can lead to a sense of loyalty that may challenge personal freedom. Key idea number four. Society admires rich entrepreneurs, but resents wealthy bureaucrats. The author discusses two types of income inequality in society. One involving famous chefs, singers, and entrepreneurs, and the other involving wealthy bankers, chief executives, and bureaucrats. Society tends to accept the wealth of the former group, but resents the latter. This is because people perceive entrepreneurs and celebrities as taking bigger risks than professionals who earn high salaries from safe jobs. This perception influences how society views and accepts wealth inequality. This logic is exemplified through the popularity of Donald Trump among working class voters. Key idea number five, success in a profession can be determined by either your skills and capability or your public perception and image. The text discusses the importance of professional competence over image in certain professions. In the medical field where risk is high, competence outweighs appearance. 
However, in professions like CEOs, where risks are lower, image often matters more. This is illustrated by the example of Ronald Reagan becoming president based on image rather than objective competence evaluation. Key idea number six. There is a correlation between wealth and being more easily exploited due to a tendency to care less about spending. The text discusses how wealthy individuals can be easily scammed into purchasing overpriced and disappointing products or experiences due to having fewer consequences for spending money. The author highlights an example of dining at a costly restaurant where the food was unsatisfactory, showing how the wealthy can be misled into luxury purchases without considering their true preferences. The piece suggests that salespeople take advantage of the rich, leading them to make choices based on external influences rather than personal desires, such as buying massive secluded mansions when they might have been happier in more vibrant neighborhoods. Ultimately, the text argues that the rich can fall prey to scams and manipulation due to their wealth providing a safety net against financial risks, leading them to make purchases that may not truly align with their preferences. In conclusion, the key message of the book is that information, risk, and preferences impact behavior and outcomes. Understanding stakeholder knowledge and risks is crucial. The advice includes evaluating how risks are measured, such as in medical decisions, considering short and long-term outcomes. Further reading is suggested. Anti-Fragile by Nicholas Nassim Taleb, which discusses how unpredictability and volatility can lead to improvement challenging society's trend of smoothing out life and interfering with systems like the economy. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.